Okay, it's day two of our journey from Whitehorse down to Vancouver. Today we're in Muncho Lake. We've just entered the northern tip of the Canadian Rockies. We're going to drive 680 kilometers south to Fort St. John, and these mountains should make for a very beautiful drive today. This stretch of the highway really is amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's twisting between mountains and every 30 seconds you've got a completely new view that really just takes your breath away. And if it's even possible to get bored of these mountains and these views, you know, every once in a while there's a, a moose hanging out at the side of the road, hanging out with its young and they're just, you know, looking for the foliage that's buried beneath the snow. We have a relay system with the cars. There's a, a lead car up front that alerts us anytime a truck like this is coming up so that we're not blind to it uh, as it comes around a corner. It's, uh, they're taking excellent safety measures with us and uh, it's very much appreciated. It makes our drive a lot more pleasurable because there are far fewer surprises. Actually, uh, the preparation was um, not as elaborate as, as people would think. I mean, we knew that we wanted to do the, the Alaska Highway and the Dempster Highway up to Inuvik and a little bit of the ice roads. There are very few different um, alternative routes that you can follow. So uh, our colleagues from Driving Unlimited, uh, these are the people that also manage and run our driving academy, our Mercedes-Benz Driving Academy, did a pre-trip in uh, at the end of November, early December, and um, ascertained that, you know, this was the right route, that we could see the various terrain, we could experience, you know, difficult driving conditions. So they came back the first week of December and we said, it's a go. So um, less than a month and a half later, we're here and, uh, you know, we're on day, I think it's day 11, no, day 10 of 12 days, and um, it's gone according to plan. We've arrived in Fort St. John. It's about the halfway point in our journey, and it's the first real hint of civilization that we've run into since being in Whitehorse. I've got a comfy bed to sleep in, and when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I'm gonna do is go hunting for a Tim Hortons.